I found watching your work again for, before this interview, going back to the very early work, uh, Century Falls, um, oh, Dark yeah. Season, yeah. obviously Doctor Who, Second Coming, the world almost ends an awful lot in your work. <laughs> there is this, there is this apocalyptic strain in it, and I wondered where yes. that came from. That's interesting. I think partly because you can do that with drama because it's a it's a created world, and once you've created a world, you can end it, uh, whereas the real world just keeps going. I think um, I do think everyone dies in the end. I think I think as part of the point of fiction is that's what I love about fiction is that happy endings, sad endings, they're entirely imposed, and I, that's why I especially like writing happy endings actually because I think in the real world they don't exist. There's no love story that lasts because one of them dies first. And actually, and I think, I think when people strive towards realism in drama, and the way they start defining drama as tragedy, saying if it has a sad ending, therefore it's good, and therefore that's drama, I sort of think, well, the real world does that. That takes care of it for you. If it's an artificial world that you're shaping, you can actually push it into a happy ending because life won't do it for you.